Okay, this is week four, math four, and we are going to do the unit test for plane figures and quizzes one and two in getting ready for area and perimeter. All right, so let's start out with plane figures. Um, in geometry, we talk about points, lines, and planes. A plane is like a uh, flat surface, a flat sheet of paper. And so all the shapes that are two dimensional are uh, plane shapes. So plane figures, because they're shapes that we, we can draw in a plane. So how can we classify this shape? Um, yeah, so let's talk about the special quadrilaterals. Let me write them out. So we have quadrilateral, is a four-sided polygon, but then there is trapezoids, which have one pair of parallel sides. We have isosceles trapezoids. They also have one pair of parallel sides and one pair of congruent sides. Uh, I'll draw a picture of each one of these. We have kites, which have two pairs of congruent sides. We have rhombuses or rhombi, which have four congruent sides. We have parallelograms, which have two pairs of parallel sides. We have rectangles, which have four congruent angles. And last, we have squares, which have four congruent angles and four congruent sides. OK, so let me just go ahead and draw a picture. So quadrilateral can be anything, you know, it just has four sides, straight sides, so. Uh, trapezoids though, they have one pair of parallels. Isosceles trapezoids, you probably, probably look familiar, like that, where these sides are congruent. And then kites, you know what a kite looks like. It's like an actual kite you'd see in the air. It has those two pairs of congruent sides. A rhombus you can also call <clears throat> a diamond. So it's like that. It's like a, it would be a square, except the angles aren't right angles. Parallelogram. Everybody knows parallelogram. It's like a slanted rectangle. Rectangle is a straight up and down parallelogram. And then of course, you are familiar with the square. So what is this one right here? It looks like a parallelogram, and it is. But also, because all sides are the same, it's a rhombus. So we don't have parallelogram to choose from, but it's a quadrilateral. It has four sides, and they're all the same. It's a rhombus. OK. Classify the shapes. So we have. Uh, right triangle, a uh, rectangle, and a square. So do all the shapes belong to quadrilaterals? No, one is a triangle. Are they all squares? No, very interesting question. This one, square and a quadrilateral. Oh, and it's also a rectangle because it has four right angles. And it's also a rhombus because it has four sides that are congruent. That squares a lot of things, which, uh, okay, so you can do that one. I bet you can do that one. You can do that one. You can do that one. Sorry, I just really think you can do these. But, you know, Okay, you want to classify the shape. That's a rectangle. Oh, but it's also a quadrilateral. 
Okay. Sorry if that was a little half-hearted, but I think you got the plain figures. Uh, and it's good to know the names and the definitions that will. I teach that to high school students in geometry. So learning now in fourth grade, you know. Okay. So now we're going to do quiz one and two in area and perimeter. Very important topic. Okay, so what is the area of a rectangle? The area of a rectangle is the amount of squares that fit in the rectangle. So we can find the area of the rectangle by using the area formula. So is the area formula for a rectangle? It's length times width. And a rectangle, we can call this the width. You can call this the length. I really like to call it the base and the height as I get older. So you can also, if you want to change that, you know, if you want to say base and height, you are more than welcome to do that. Okay, so what we are going to do is we're going to count the squares do that, and then uh, determine the length and the width base and height. One, two, three, four, five. So we got five up. And then we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine across. So nine times five is 45. Which of the following rectangles have, so you can figure that one out, just multiply them together, right? Ah, this is a good one. So what you can figure it out is you got four and then you can count the boxes across. You'll get that one. A rectangle has, all right, now we should do this one. So in this one, they've given us <coughs> the area and they've given us the length and they're asking for the width. <coughs> Sorry. So in that case, what we want to do is divide, you know? And if you divide the area by the length, you'll get the width. If you divide the area by the width, you'll get the length. So what is 35 divided by 7? 5. And with the area, you can figure that one out. All right. Quiz 2, let's do it. Quiz 2, it must be about perimeter. So perimeter is the... Uh, length all the way around the shape. Area is the um, amount of space inside the shape. So which of the following expressions can be used to find the perimeter of the shape? So we have how many sides? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we want to add 15 six times, or we can multiply 15 times six. So both of those would work. The perimeter of the figure is 26. Figure out the, oh, all right, you could do that. So if it's all the sides added together and we're only missing one side, what we could do is we could add all the sides we have together and then subtract from the total. And that would be, so what's three plus four is seven, plus seven is 14, plus seven is 21. So if you add all those sides, you get 21. And 26 is the total. This is sides we know. So if we subtract those two and we get five, that's the missing side. Not too bad. A little puzzle. Okay. The length of each side of the star is eight units. What is the perimeter of the star? Okay, let's count the sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Unless I, I might have counted wrong, but I think it's eight. Got it. A rectangle, a regular, okay, so let's write that down. Regular, uh, in terms of people, regular means like normal, like, you know, regular guy. But uh, in terms of geometry, regular has a specific 
meaning. So regular means all sides it are congruent and angles congruent. Okay, so if it's a pentagon, it's one of those pentagons that, you know, regular pentagon. What is the length of one of the sides? So if we know all the sides are the same and they all add up to 20, then we can just divide the 20 by five. Or Yeah, because there's five sides and each side would have to be four. Okay. One side, so you can do that. We just work backwards from what I just said. Figure it out. Have fun doing it. All right, that's week four.